Melbourne is a much-loved, highly sought-after city. It held the most livable title for seven years in a row, according to the Economist Intelligence Unit Global Livability Index. It's a city in which many people from around the world choose to build their lives and families, and one that's rich in landscapes and nature. And like many others, it's the city that I choose to call home. But like many parts of the world, Melbourne is becoming victim to unsustainable lifestyles with the increasing amount of plastic, chemicals and waste tied up in these everyday single-use products. Approximately 100 billion period products are thrown away around the world each year, most of which contain plastic and cannot be recycled. Much of this waste ends up in landfills. Wyndham experienced the fastest and largest population growth in Victoria and the second fastest and largest in Australia. Wyndham's landfill takes about 40,000 tonne of waste annually. It's not viable to keep increasing the size of the landfill to meet the growing waste. A much better solution is to reduce our waste. In Melbourne, 4.2% of the population identify as Muslim. And if we all do our part, we can change our habits for the betterment of the planet, therefore leading a lifestyle that aligns with our responsibility to the land. I understand that in order to make better choices for ourselves, we need to be empowered with knowledge and awareness. Sometimes the hardest part about switching to reusable products is the stigma with asking questions or the discomfort of trying something new. I know that there are many options available in the market which are reusable and great alternatives to disposable period care products. I'm on an exploratory journey to find small ways in which I can make a difference that will actively contribute to looking after the planet, and one that I know other Muslim women can also play a role in through a shift in how we use sanitary products. So let's find out with an expert. So I've got some reusable menstrual products here that um, I wanted to show you. Because a lot of people don't know that they're out there or what's available, maybe don't use them yet. I guess there's two types of menstrual products that are reusable. There's some things that will collect and things that will absorb your um, flow. So let's have a look first um, at the things that will absorb your flow. Reusable cloth pads. So these pads are designed to um, sit inside any normal underwear that you um, are wearing. As you can see with the cloth pads, they come in different uh, sizes and also you can get different fabrics and that kind of thing to make it uh, a little bit more fun, I guess. Um, and there can be cotton, they could be flannelette, they could be a minky fabric um, on the top layer. Um, of the pad and then underneath that layer of fabric will be a couple of layers of absorbent fabric which will be what um, sort of collects and absorbs um, the period blood and then the bottom layer or the base layer will have some sort of a waterproof backing usually so just to stop any leaks and they have usually some press studs um, on the sides that you can use to clip around your underwear so whatever underwear you're wearing uh, just, just regular underwear you're wearing, they will um, clip to and that will hold them in place while you're wearing the cloth pad. And period underwear uh, works in a very similar way to cloth pads. They look like, from the outside, they look like just a normal pair of underwear. Sometimes they come in lots of different cool colours. There are a couple of brands that do sort of, you know, fancy prints or something that's a little bit prettier. But um, but as you can see, the plain fabric on the outside um, just looks like a normal pair of underwear, but on the inside, you can see where the absorbent material is. Uh, with both the pads and the period undies, um, the, the idea is that once you have used them, once they are, um, once you've used it to collect the, um, the blood, then you would rinse and you would wash just in a normal wash cycle. You don't need to use any special soaps or detergents or anything like that. They're actually better off with um, just a really gentle um, wash or gentle um, soap, natural soap. You can get them in different, for different flows. So you can get a light version or a heavy version as well. And depending on what you need it for and depending on your flow, it might last you all day or it might last you half the day. And also um, they keep you fairly cool, as in they don't make you hot and sweaty, I find. Best reusable switches I've done in this whole um, lifetime of using reusable products instead of disposable products is a menstrual cup. Um, and I find that a menstrual cup um, is very comfortable once you have found the way to insert and remove the menstrual cup. It can almost feel like 
during the day. You can even forget that you even have your period, which is a really nice feeling. <laughs> so a menstrual cup is usually made from a medical grade silicon. You can get some with colours and that kind of thing. They will have a dye or something like that in there as well. But um, for the most part, they will just be a clear um, colour and they'll be a similar sort of shape to this one where they have a small little tail at the end and they are a cup, really, essentially a cup that you um, squeeze into. Um, you can squeeze it into a C or an S sort of shape and it is inserted then. Um, once you have inserted that, you gently... Um, release and it will um, expand to um, then sort of sit against the vaginal wall where it will stay and it will catch the blood that um, is coming and when you are ready to um, remove the cup you'll sort of find the tail and give the bottom just a gentle pinch just to release sort of the suction against the vaginal wall so that then you can just squeeze gently and just gently remove you can use your pelvic floor muscles to help you um, sort of bear down there to help it come out. Then um, all you need to do is tip out or empty out the blood. Um, you can just do that into the toilet and then you can give the cup a bit of a rinse and then reinsert. Um, and it's as easy as that really. Usually only sort of once every 12 hours or so most people find is when they need to remove and empty and rinse their cup to reinsert. The other great thing about um, these particular reusable menstrual products like cloth pads and period undies um, is that a lot of the time they're just made from fabric, um, whereas the disposable pads could have chemicals in them, they have fragrances, they have like chlorine or something to bleach them to make the colour um, look really nice and crisp white. Um, there's also adhesives and then there's often like a plastic layer to, um, to help keep them waterproof. So there's a lot of extra, um, there's a lot of extra like synthetic things and chemical things that you're, that you're wearing very close to your body. So I like to consider these products as a one-time investment. So um, as opposed to going to the supermarket and stocking up on disposable products every month or every couple of months, um, once you have purchased a menstrual cup or once you have purchased a set of cloth pads or period undies or even a combination of all of those things, that is it then until you need to replace them for whatever reason. Of course, take your time to find out what works for you. The reusable products, any amount of time you use the reusable products and save a disposable product from going to landfill is still a really good switch. So being on this journey to understand more about reusable products has actually been really encouraging for me to try it uh, myself. Uh, prior to this, I had some knowledge about it, like I used to see it on social media, I have some friends who use it, but we never sat down and talked about it. So I think being able to go on that journey yourself to learn has been really useful. Uh, what else has been useful is being is talking about it so beyond just like seeing the product is hearing from people like alicia who early in this video explain what is happening uh, makes it a lot more easy to be able to address it uh, and to approach the product i think the thing that surprised me the most was uh, understanding the environmental damage of the non-reusable products um, and just the fact that we use so many in a day as opposed to the reusable ones, which is much less. So um, the fact is that, you know, there is less damage to the environment. And I think it is a step in the right direction because 50% um, of the population is are, are women and women use those products. So um, the impact that we can have if we start switching is uh, tremendous. I think the most important thing that I've learned on this journey is that we should talk about it. When we sit with other women, when we sit in women's circles, um, these are the conversations that we should be having because we know that the impact is going to outlive us. The, the impact is about looking after the planet and looking after the environment.